Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 51. Round of 16 match between Tempest Saw and his Dark Elves and Alma and his Dark Elves. I wonder if Dark Elves will win this match or not. Who can say? Um, in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello. I'm not sure if Dark Elves are going to win, but I'm sure that one Dark Elf team is going to lose. Mm. And that's pretty sick, isn't it? Having this add six play to catch the to catch the kickoff. Mm -hmm. Though it is putting her in harm's way. Um, looking at the teams. Part of the mirror, then a blitz to completely throw off all balance of the match immediately. Yes, instant. The, I think that the better team belongs to Alma, right? He's got this mighty blow tackler. He's got a couple of guard. He's got a couple of move ups. Um, whereas pretty much all Temper Soul has is some. Some bloodstep DT, which to be fair is pretty good. Bloodstep diamond tackle tackle is pretty good against Dells, particularly in the mirror. It's really what an good. apothecary! Yeah, huge, huge apple, and uh, it's pretty much just this witch elf is the only yeah. star. But yeah, the, the, his blitzes are really good. Oh wow! So oh, about that witch elf star, Jim. Oh man! Well now, <laughs> Alma uh, has the better team by far. Uh, does he not have an apothecary? <laughs> he used it. He used it on this. Oh, there was a kill. Nice, nice job. Cool, good echo use, man. Yeah, nice that apple, is... mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> the good apple shot, but the badly timed one. <laughs> and he caught the ball as well. Amazing. That is the most instant apple punish I think we'll maybe ever see. Yeah, that was apple cool. use into immediate first action bullets. Best player removal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Into likely loss. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty brutal, yep. And it being on a blitz, like, I've got, alright, I've got a blitz, I've got all the advantage, alright, anyway, the game's over now. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't say it's over, but, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for him. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. I mean, he's gonna get to hit the ball here, isn't he? And, uh... Oh, and stab as well. The assassin paying off. Wow, I didn't even realize, I didn't even notice that he has an assassin. So like, yeah, he's actually down two players, isn't he? <laughs> hey, look, the apple isn't bad in in like elf mirrors, right? And he 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 was playing he was playing Rick in the round before this, and then he's playing Alma. So I think that was a, an acceptable idea that he had. <laughs> Side steps next to more men. If his best player wasn't so exposed to a Mighty Blow hit, and wasn't the immediate obvious blitz that had to be hit with Mighty Blow Tackle, it's probably a better app, though. But mm -hmm. you an MBT is coming on your best player the next turn. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Doesn't get the POW. Doesn't choose Push POW for the chance of a misclick on uh, Manual Dodge. Terrible play. <laughs> uh, uh you probably I feel like you should punish people who put dodge on manual by making them select it over and over and over again yeah but then they can, they can punish you by just not selecting it and if they run out of time it, it uses dodge so they can just run out of time to make sure they don't mm. misclick so then it becomes them punishing you for trying to punish them <laughs> I'm, I'm still I'm so frustrated that, that was they couldn't just make it on a chain push it's it's Manual, they had to make it on manual and it's such an awful, so awful. Mm -hmm. It's just an unfortunate reality of um, a digital version of a tabletop game where there isn't an option of, I'll declare it when I'm not using it, yeah. and I'll just default to using it. That just isn't an option. Oh man, this is a mess, isn't it? It's like, you know, although he's got the ball, Alma here, it's still an absolute mess. Removal helping a lot, obviously. Mm -hmm. the removals do help. It's a pretty righty lineman to remove, too. He's just got to, he's just got to block and <laughs> stand where he is. But there's, a, there's enough around that this is very tricky for Tempest Soul still. Mm -hmm. It's 
defense somehow got split in half, which happens on a blitz sometimes, but not usually to this degree. Mm. Oh, that's a big power though. Huge. Yep. That's 2D with Wrestle. Four ta yeah, 4D with Wrestle or 2D with Tackle. And he goes for the 4D with Wrestle. Should have used tackle. Should have used tackle, yeah, for all the push powers. <laughs> Infinite push powers. I have no idea which Delve team is going in which direction. The red ones, the, like, the burgundy ones are going forward, which is Alma's. Dark, the team that's in the darker colors is going one way, and the team in the, the slightly less dark colors is going the other. <laughs> oh, wow. See you later, uh, assassin. Oh, you know, he stabs on broke armor, so he's definitely worth his value. Mm. <laughs> I don't think he was that bad. Yeah. Four hands off in the tackle zone. I thought he'd have handed off the one not in a tackle zone. Interesting. I guess needs wants to lay out, but yeah. Surf, but don't know how this was left on. <laughs> but it Man. was not great. Things are pretty dire when you get a turn to base the ball and your opponent's blitz is to surf one of your players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And both have got eleven man teams. That foul seems very greedy. Yeah, very greedy, but makes a cast. Oh god. Literally like the result you're like, hey, if I get a Kaz, I'm just impermanently up, and if I lose a player for no reason, I might give up a hit on the ball for no reason. Mm. Oh, alright, I'm just maybe permanently ahead now. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's I mean that's huge, isn't it? Right? That's absolutely mm -hmm. massive now. This drive is pretty much over. Like well rolled by Alma, but also, you know, played played well to like get back from such a horrendous start. It's been, uh, he's rolled well, and it's pro it's, he's made well decisions that that's given him. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, come on. Just yeah, I mean, it's over. Six now. dice on the ball, can't get a knockdown. It's yeah. snake eyes. Yeah, yeah Timber Soul hasn't played bad or anything, has he? Right? Yeah. He's, just, he's just had shit dice. But I mean, he started off with the Blitz, which is pretty good, so... Mm -hmm. And he did make the uh, Apple decision that was punished, so. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those mobile games where the dice get pretty snowbally and it just happens sometimes. Yeah. It feels particularly bad in mirror matchups, of course, where it's just. You don't have, like, any asymmetry to your gameplay. You're both trying to play the same game, so if one person's just team better and play rolling better, there's really very little you can do to kind of change it. Mm hmm. Oh man, he's Alma's out Tempersoling Tempersol here. <laughs> Tempersol loves a foul, and uh, Alma's just kicking the shit out of him. Ref not trained to catch L fouls, but was able to catch those uh, Protonian fouls in the game we viewed previously. And you can watch on Jimmy Fantastic's YouTube channel right here. Ha ha. Brilliant. What a pro. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Well, you know, got to get for those five people who don't know about it already. <laughs> of the six viewers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Six players on the pitch for the uh, for Tempest Soul is pretty brutal, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really know what I would like. Yeah. It's uh, one of the times where it's pretty good there aren't going to be future seasons of CCL because there might be a point where you just throw in the cell, <laughs> depending on how your KOs go and what happens the next couple of turns. Whoa. It is, that said, pretty incredible. Uh, Alma is almost out of, is out of rerolls already on yes. turn 5. That yes. actually does kind of open it up a lot more for Tempest Soul to get into the game. Now a nonsense can happen. 
and you could say that was terrible, right? Because he had he had the witch elf free and four of the elves free. He could have just totally yeah. had the ball in a cage before he made that blitz and then taken the dub dub skull. So that was pretty <laughs> terrible from him there with one in row left. Yeah. With two, it's like, oh, man, he won in 36. But he could have still played better. But with no rerolls, it's like, you got to play better then, I think. Yeah. It probably won't matter, but it opens up the game for the dice to matter more than they were before. Yeah, no, I think that was really... I mean, I think it was bad. Honestly, bad. Maybe it's really bad, it's a bit strong. But I think for the level that they're at, it was really bad, you know? Mm -hmm. Like obviously, I was got a um, choice about being down to zero rerolls because he's been, you know, being blitzed on. He's been having to like get back into it. But there's really no excuse once you once you're on zero rerolls and all those free players, and you know, th four turns, he had plenty of time, no threat on the ball. That, that was just real, real bad to force himself into having to reroll. It's the kind of mistake that when you're a new or even intermediate player, um, like myself, you try and get out of your game. By consciously thinking of whether or not, where you go from, I want to generate two dice blocks to, do I need to make this 2D block, and do I need to make it now? And it's a very, but it's a mistake you want to get out of your game, because it's actually pretty avoidable. Mm -hmm. But it can be a bit unnatural. Unlike putting your ball in a based cage, which is just <laughs> a unnatural thing you learn to not do very immediately. Nah, but it's fine if it's like this and it's safe, right? As long as you, as long as you double up. It's fine, um, but yeah, it did. the guard, the guard, and the side stuff on the the right side make it probably okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, well, spoilers, um, but yes, the the Burts did win, dearly. The glorious Burts are through the quarterfinals. So this is a question, um, kind of apropos of not much going on in the game, but is jump up the best level up for that Mighty Blow Tackle Blitzer at that point? Or is it because it's just out of any good options? Um, what else would you take? You can take jump up in case you get piling on and this is his, this is legend skill. Um, so it's got it's got that. Um, otherwise, yeah, what else can you take? Like Fend, Pro, Dauntless, Diving Tackle, not a lot of good options. This might be the best option, I guess. Just yeah. as it gives you a way to... But you have some guard already, so maybe not even then. I think jump up, like, is the funny one. Especially, like, if you if you can get him... Like, yeah. if you're going to play enough yeah. to get him to legend, then jump up gets a lot of value on the off chance you roll another double. Like, then it's just mm -hmm. amazing, right? Jump up does have a bit more value without piling on than I'll, I'll usually give it credit for. But not that good when you pick it usually yeah. but particularly on like slower teams like dark elves it can actually be pretty helpful and it can be pretty annoying like all right i have to play it down and they can go the exact same distance and nothing changed great cool oh yeah it's surprisingly good it's just it's just like the only real problem is it's not that good and it's definitely not that good when you're allocating a skill slot to it so mm -hmm. But then neither are the other options. Yeah, the other options weren't great for him. Pro, Dauntless, Fend. Yeah. I guess Pro and Dauntless are the two for the hitting that probably do the most for you. Pro is dubious and Dauntless is basically worthless in a lot of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And DT, yeah, DT just making him like generic tackle DT sidestepper is fine as well. So like, DT is totally fine. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. DT is... Yeah, DT's interesting because it's also like, all right, I can base with my best player now. Yay? Mm -hmm. Cool. Sometimes that's good. So. Gets the power. Diving tackle is also a um, surprisingly, or not maybe not talked about enough, a very much a win more skill. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastically named <in> Witch Elf. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's only one dice. Yeah, pro is also, um, but he can't use it for like catching and stuff. So it's a, it's a bit worse in some ways, but um, it is much better for greed rerolling. Yes, yeah, way and, better for greed rerolling. Yeah, that's actually probably the one place where it is better. Yeah, way better. Or the 
Which is the most common thing it was used for anyway. Well, I don't know. So. It's, pro it's probably not better, but it's way safer. That's the thing, isn't it? It's way yeah. safer. Way safer. It's probably... It's a kind of brawler. It's a kind of brawler in that way, I suppose. Mm. Or brawler has some pros. Growl. I'm not sure if pros better than brawler, actually. I'm not sure. They're pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> pro and brawler, brawler. You can use brawler and pro to have, uh, you know, brawler rerolls one, and then pro can reroll the other. <laughs> so how that would work? And uh, you would you would use brawler, and then like if it didn't work, then you'd use pro on the other one, wouldn't you? Or mm. just yeah. Lord, perfect defense too. Like as long as it's not a turn or like you know as long as it's like a push, then you can then you can reroll the other one and stuff. So it'd be interesting, super interesting to use brawler and pro. Brawl, having used it a very tiny amount, it's okay. It's yeah. It's not a block replacement, no matter what people would, were saying at the beginning. It's it's okay. It's actually probably better with block, truthfully, but yes. Well, because then you've got block. <laughs> yeah. And block's pretty fucking good, just mm. quietly. And yeah, of yeah. course, like, of course it's not a block replacement. But the fact is, it's a strength skill. I can see taking it on, on like, big guys, you know, depending on the length of the league and yeah. know, drafting it limits. Up, it also opens up things. randoms, right? Yeah, yeah, randoms, yeah. 10k brawler is pretty nice compared to 40k block, I suppose. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that's the, th like, that's the thing... Block being so many SPP and 40 TV is like... Yeah. It's it's super interesting. Yeah. 40 team value for block versus 40 TV and about as much SPP for brawler and guard. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's the thing, isn't it? So it's, uh, it's, it's super interesting. And again, like, how, God knows how many games with having brawler when you've got nothing if you're saving up for Exactly. Block. Yeah, the acceleration part of it matters too. Mm. So it's going to be interesting, like Blood Bowl three, where like you know how leagues are structured, and then how will it impact how people oh, take the skills yeah. and when they take them and everything. It's going to be much harder to have any solid advice on how to level up players in the abstract, as a, as hard as it already is now. For like, what skill should I take on my player? And the answer is, I don't know. What what do you pretend that player? Wow. Well, these yeah. events have been absurd. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I did on my, uh, you know, on my ones for Blood Bowl three. Were like, you know, these are the main things you want on yeah. primaries and second, uh, whatever they call. Are they primaries and secondaries? Whatever. Yeah, secondary access. Yeah. So, um, and then these are the ones that you want to look to take and stuff. And I think that's about the best you can do, really, because it's a lot of it's mm -hmm. going to depend on the format. Yeah, the order. All that stuff. And Pro doesn't reroll the dice pool in Blood Bowl 3, uh, so they know. Blood Bowl 3, it's, uh, Pro is one dice, not not dice pool. Oh! The double GFIs. <laughs> it's uh, Alma's turn Whoa. to expose one of his best players. <laughs> Yeah, but fortunately not Mighty Blow, but this time he's once put in twice shy, not going to go after the, uh, for a wrestle, and gets the pal, yeah. down with anyone, didn't need the tackle, classic, <laughs> classic tackle, I'll use tackle while for pals anyway. Mm. Needs to go to the Dio school of uh, not needing tackle, cause just, <laughs> which I think is a bit silly, like tackle does make a big difference, doesn't it? But, mm -hmm. That's that's shocking to hear you say. I remember when you when Blood Bowl Two first came out, you're like, no, no, just take frenzy. You don't need tackle. It's fine. Well, you're, very, you're, you're pretty big on the anti tackle side, but I am I am I am big on anti tackle. I think it's I think it's stupid and terrible that you have to take tackle. You know, yeah, like tackle isn't a good skill. It's just like a no. necessary evil. The tackle dodge interaction has been talked about a lot of times, but for anyone who's curious, it's bad. It's not a good interaction, and it's kind of game defining. In a bad way. Yeah. There's a, there, it's done. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> I 
Wow. Good recovery. Yep. From Tempest Soul, at least. Getting to play, getting to turn up listen to a deck is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually worked out all right for him thus far. Like, it's still not great, is it? It's but there isn't the... two, can be a lot of twos next turn. Yeah, there isn't the diamond tackle, is there, on Alma's team? That's the thing. Like, if this, if these situations were reversed, it would be a lot worse for uh, Alma because yes. of all the DTs. Oh, wow. Jesus, these move. fouls. Yeah, these fouls worth, are outrageous. Worth a send-off, mm. probably. Oh, no, yeah. Giving a longer for a dodge, for the strike in particular. Definitely. Right, you mean you trade one for one, you're just a huge advantage if you're almost Yep. Doesn't really want the ball on the, this diamond tackle as he had try and get it onto uh, a rookie blitzer. Yeah, the rookie blitzer would be great. The sidestep probably Helps a little bit for defensive reasons, but it does. But still, because you down so many players, having DT mm -hmm. to hold space was more important. As I was saying in the first half, this is a case where diving tackle really is just a such a one more skill because you just can't use it when you're down. This many like you just can't you spend players to base stuff up randomly, with it. and it's also on your good player that you need to be doing stuff. Well, for Alma, he'd love to have Diving Tackle right now. He yes. could just freely base things with it. Yes, it is great for like, locking down strong positions. Two stuns make this a bit of a, a bit of a shitty turn for Alma here. Mm -hmm. Still going in. Wow. Hmm. Wow. wow. Not a fan of that reroll. Also, just not a fan mm. of that blitz in general. I would have blitzed the defenseless guy, and then obviously the yeah. one in nine would have just been a knockdown anyway. So, yeah, yeah. very strange to, to go for that 55% over 75% knockdown and then spend a reroll as well. Yeah, very, very rowdy. Yeah, going in for that, that seems like a very nice block to get the, hit the guard guy, and the guard removal seems even bigger here right now. Mm. Then the diving tackle, it can't do much. Or, you know, <laughs> trick him into rolling a one in nine is fine. <laughs> trick him. <laughs> Oh, well. Has to re-roll that? Yeah. yeah, probably. Hello! Five year. <laughs> so you can get the you can get the move on on the ball for an assist, but you can't really get someone hit as well. Uh, jump up did something. We're here. On the free block. It's not terrible. That's only every once in a while. Yeah. It's a theoretical. It's a theoretical assassin skill, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's not terrible. It's just it's it's just that's the thing. It's like you're obviously not going to take it over a block, dodge, sidestep, tackle, and then after that, it comes you know his options are less good. Yeah, there's basically no skill that makes you worse at stuff. So all skills are good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like all these yeah. people who say, oh, well, I've got pass block and it worked once, and it's like, yeah, well, it will work every now and then. The problem is, wouldn't it be better if it was something else? That, I feel like just the way those assists are placed that assassin was just incorrect. You could have taken that block, pushed him away from all your players, not given up this free stab mm. for no reason, and still got the two dice on him. That seemed just kind of needlessly sloppy. Yeah. This game did take place on Saturday, Galentio, but uh, not doing them live because fuck watching people think for an hour. So just doing the replays now. 
there just isn't enough to talk about about Blood Bowl generally. It's not like chess where we have people who can go up, look at a position and talk to you about it for 30 minutes while someone makes a decision. <laughs> or an engine to help us do analysis on it. Mm. To explain that analysis. We just have to go, yep, he rolled the dice. And now this looks pretty bad. Yeah. The game is not live, but are you and Squirrel allied? Just about, find me. Just about. Oh, I can't speak for Squirrel, but I'm just about alive. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been a course for about three years now, so <laughs> thanks for bringing out Fymir. It's a real sore spot. <laughs> Pippa's also good enough to get himself, like, a shot, a chance of getting up the field, considering how far behind he was. Yeah, really good. He's, he's a good player, and he got to the uh, final of CCL last mm -hmm. season. I feel like Sizeup should be going where that witch is, but okay. Yes. And we're just using our mighty blow tackle to hit random shit that doesn't matter and not getting him back in the play. Yeah, interesting. I guess he was hoping to power it to the... Um, right. Like, if he powers it, then he dodges yeah, yeah. up, and it means it clears the, the shadowing for the Lino. So it was pretty good to, like, to power him, to be fair. But yeah, pushing him is a bit shit. Well, very shit. Also, that GFI reroll is interesting. Yeah, yeah it's a bit shit. Because guess what? They're just—they were always just going through this player. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Imagine if it'd been a sidestepper. Because he wasn't knocked over. Oh. Wow. Attack on the tackle on. Any of these dodges, right? So these are going to be twos and threes with three rules. Mm. Daffy, even when you're down players, it's a typically very oppressive Dark Elf team. But, you know, if he soul loses, it's because the DACA doesn't work. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Yeah, it did kind of become a DACA instead of just a horrendous yeah. uh, blitz experience. Which, which Dark Elf Flux streamer? There's like 15 on the field. <laughs> yeah, it is. you're asking a lot. Uh, not quarterfinals, I round of 16 for me. I think it's the one that's lying on the ground or there might be blow tackle gem based on where your mouse was and it was showing up on the screen. I think that's the one he's talking about. Okay. Uh the one Dark Elf Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, Rion. Yeah. Rion. There you go, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> this is good of an answer you're ever gonna get anyway. <laughs> oh, cheeky fall to start. Game of it should be actually hired in Assassin to counter pro L. That's a very weird choice because it's not the first thought I would have to counter pro That just seems like I have a chance to exploit armor value 7, but it's not really. You can just hit them to exploit that. Mm. I guess Amazons or Norse, I maybe understand it a bit more. Amazons in particular. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. They've got blood, they're armor seven. He had the money, like it was also like the the main thing was like they were both cutting to try and, you know, deny wizards and get wizards and everything. So it ended up that like he could get an assassin instead of a lineman. Mm. So he just did. It wasn't that he thought, like, ah, ha, 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 this is the perfect counter. Yeah. He was like, well, I'll buy a player then, seeing as I'm not getting a wizard. So, I'll, um, well, I can, get a, I can get an assassin and still get a babe or whatever. So, you know, the assassin and still get a babe or whatever. But this is looking like a, a good drive for Temper Souls somehow. Oh, but there, this one is jump up. So, you know, if he didn't have size up, he could get served. <laughs> mm.
Oh, he's just gonna surf. No, he's, I thought he might have just surfed the. Uh, could have just surfed the witch elf. And then still got a two turn. Isn't that better? Just surf the witch elf. I, I think surfing the witch elf is the play there. Mm. Oh, but he's gonna block him away and then hit the ball with two D with tackle, which is which is quite reasonable, to be fair. Yeah, I think the ball tackles is pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if that pacing does anything. No, not really. I'd rather have him free to collect the ball if it goes in the crowd. Oh! If he hadn't re-rolled earlier, he could have re-rolled that catch. So let's here. Oh! If he hadn't re-rolled earlier, he could have re-rolled that G. <laughs> I mean... He, still gets, he probably still gets a two turn out of this, but I think Sol has to score now. If he can, yeah, or yeah. as soon as he can force a score, and he'll force a score in now. So. Yeah, I don't think he can stall it now. So it did work out pretty well. Blitzing the ball with tackle mighty blow. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, like I felt like just blitzing the witch elf was like the safer one. You know, no need to use a reroll on like GFIs and stuff and trying to power him. If you just surf the Witch Elf, you almost certainly can't stall out another turn, so... Even though the Ball Blitz worked, I do think my strat would have worked as well. Did he cost himself a square movement there? No, no, there's a down point. Wow. Also, my favourite thing people do is, uh... Do everything one at a time, even though you're doing all of them, no matter what happens. <laughs> yeah. Until they fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. I did play Blood Bowl too early, yes, funny me. I actually played real games myself. What a I mean, it was Blood Bowl, so real game is questionable, but... Nah. Real games of Blood Bowl I played, that's true. Went brilliantly, won all three, you know, we forget the one that I played that I conceded. <laughs> Concessions don't count as losses or wins. Yeah. So how many did you actually win, Jim? I won three. I won, I won three out of three with my Amazons. Uh, after I went zero one with uh, Necro and deleted them. Well, I went like two turns with Necro until I realised. As I was playing, like after the second turn of Necro, I was like, "Why aren't I just using Amazons?" And then, and then I rolled double skulls, and then my wolf got cast and no regen. So I was like, "Right, fuck this! I'll make the Amazons," which I think is quite reasonable. But yeah, it wasn't totally miserable, so that was a success. <laughs> Had some top-notch BM. This is uh, not much of a defence, but again, he just doesn't have many players, does he? So It's not a criticism of Tempest Soul, it's just, what else can he do? Yeah. He, Frank, look, he was massively down players, got blitzed on and scored, giving the Dark Elves only two turns to strike back. That's not bad. Mm, that's great. I think you've got to make a blockless block here as armor, haven't you? A blockless block! Imagine, God, the what a crazy thing, using, <laughs> not taking a block with block. Oh, I can't even do it. Never played Amazon. I've never done it with Amazon. <laughs> oh wow, he's oh man, uh, he should have definitely done a blockless block instead of just dodging away all this way. <gasps> Does he know about shadowing? Do they know about shadowing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't know about he does, not shadowing stab. He doesn't know about stab. Oh my god. Oh my god, Alma doesn't know about Stab! Does Tempest Soul know about Stab? It's implemented letting you not use a square movement, let's see. Oh my god. It is kind of a gamble, but like, there's so many scoring threats, it's probably correct. I'm 100% stabbing it, like 1 million yeah. percent. Because the stun's amazing, the stun just. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that, that. On the actual complaint about blockless block, that's a pretty bad blockless block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he's going for it. Here we go. Could have had a reroll for these GFIs, and there you go, instant fail. <laughs> yeah. So he did know about stab, and maybe maybe Alma knew about stab as well, and just left it on. But I think it's way too risky to leave one on purpose. Wow, a dodgeless, <laughs> a blockless dodge. Oh man. Game's gotten really weird. Yeah. There goes the relay. And a three plus to win. Well, not actually. Oh my god, right? Yeah, because he had to pass it. So here we go. Two plus now to win. And he's done it. Unbelievable job. That was. A wild two turn, wasn't it? I do wonder if Alma knew about the stab thing or not. That's interesting. I'll have to ask him when he's in chat sometime. Um, so there you go. Commiserations to Tempest Soul. Congratulations to Alma forever. Thank you very much, Scroll Dude, for coming in and doing the commentary. Glorious to have you in the booth. Yeah, I'll admit I was I saw the Dark Elves one before the game. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic!